I'm going to give you a tour of my birthing. Um, birthing is a place where you live on the ship. I hope this gives you an idea of what it looks like and I hope it's interesting and helpful. Okay, so let me turn this around. On the lower level, um, this is how you get down. It's really steep, but this is what it looks like when we're coming through here. Um, we have boot cubbies where we put our shower shoes. This one's mine. Our shower shoes, boot cubbies, um, PT shoes. This is our ironing board. In here, we leave our iron. And this is one aisle. This is mine. I live on the bottom rack. So there's good and bad things to each levels of racks. Um, and I'll explain it a bit. So for mine, I've lived in here since I got on board three years ago and I haven't moved ever since just because I got used to it. So good thing about being a bottom rack is that it's easy, easily accessible. I can crawl into my rack and get out easily with having, without having problems for the most part. Um, it's easy for me to see my stuff. Okay, let me open this. So this is the compartment space that we have in our racks. Um, mine is pretty empty. I'm in the process of moving out right now, but I put the stuff that I need easy accessible right here. My hair stuff. This doesn't get inspected like it does in boot camp, so you can just organize it however you like. I usually put my um, toiletries in here, workout clothes and uh, um, civilian clothes here. I put underwear here and uniforms there. Obviously, it's not in its space right now. Bad thing about being on the bottom rack is that sometimes the birthing floods and it could be from maybe a toilet leaking or anything like that and it could I've heard of it I wasn't here when it happened but it could come up to up here and the water can seep into your stuff so that kind of sucks um, we have emergency escape breathing devices down here um, in case of an emergency we need to get out um, and there's no clean air to breathe, so that'll provide us about 10 minutes until we can escape the ship. Um, this is for privacy, of course. Our rack is the only personal um, spot that we have for ourselves, so um, this is the curtains help with privacy when we're sleeping. In here, we can have our own personal blanket, and this is for our towel hook, and I have a little air freshener in there. Also right here, we have a uh, ventilation. It keeps our towels from being disgusting inside our rack. That is a book cubby. And we have a little light. Oh, and these are to keep us from rolling all out of our racks from whenever we go underway out to sea. We don't want to be falling out of our racks because it happens. And this is a little secret compartment. Secret box? Um, that opens to another spot. In here, I keep a spare key just in case, like, I lock myself out and I left my keys at home or something. So I, I keep a spare key in here. So, the middle rack is usually reserved for E5 and above. Um, I could have moved into a middle rack, but I was, I was too comfortable down here to move. Um, so yeah, it depends on what ship you're on and what the rules are, but here on my ship, it's E5 and above. So the good thing about being a middle rack is, for obvious reasons, is that it's a middle rack. You don't have to crouch down so low to get your stuff like you do for the bottom rack. Um, the bad thing is that people usually leave their stuff on your rack. Like, if you are a top rack, it's easy to just, you know, leave your stuff here. Sometimes when people are folding their clothes, they, they like to use the middle rack. For the top rack, the good thing about it is that there's so much space, so much more space up here. See, it's not like, it's not like down here where it's like you're limited. Over here you have so much more space, you can sit up, um, whatever. If you're a taller person, you can see all your stuff. But for me, like my head doesn't even like reach up to here. So I'm gonna have to like step on this thing or step on that, you know, like crawl into everything, even to, just to see what's in, inside. Um, so it's fine if you're taller. I wouldn't want this rack. Um, 
but yeah, pros is there's so much more space, cons is that you can't reach it. It'd be hard too. So in this aisle, there's 12 girls, six on each side, and then we have our stand-up walkers. Um, and boop, boop, boop. this is our bathroom. What the sinks look like? There's three. One, two, and three. And the toilet. I don't I don't know if I want to show you the toilet. It's kind of gross. Yeah. And we have living room space down here. Couches. You can fit whoever. And we have a TV and a sea bag locker, which is for the entire ship. I don't have keys out right now, but yeah. So that's our birthing and how we live. That one's mine. Right here. So I hope you found that kind of helpful for any of you guys that were curious. I know I was before I came to the ship, so yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.